Hello there, it seems you've already played this before, but you can write you can get right into the development into development and skip the tutorial messages. Note that you can always skip review tutorial messages, even the ones you've skipped, in the help menu while you play a game. Skip tutorial, don't skip. Uh, I don't know, considering you guys have never watched me play this, so I don't know, may you just skip the tutorial? No, I'll just I'll just not skip. Uh, okay. Welcome to the Game Development Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your venture, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Company name. Interesting. I am Pseudo Gerudo, so ooh, I'll call it the Pseudo Incorporated. I'll call it the Gerudo... Uh, the, uh, the Gerudo Thieves, that's it, the Gerudo, oh fuck, Thieves, no, nope. is that how you spell Thieves? No, it's I before E, okay, but not after C, okay, there we go, uh, so, player name, what should the player be, player should be, um, uh, Ganondorf, no, um, I will stick with probably Naburu. Yeah, Naburu. That is the name of this man, apparently. Nab uh, okay, we'll change it to a female. Uh, is there anyone with preferably red hair? Anyone with red hair? Nobody with red hair. Anybody? Come on. Okay, what about red? A red shirt? A red shirt. No, they wear purplish red. Okay, they, they wear red as well. Okay, I'll have that, and then I'll have a somewhat dark skin with this, or probably. I don't see a lot of. Okay, I'll. It was completely unrealistic. Since you've played the game before, you can choose to use the previous. Before you can choose to use the previously gained hints in this new game. Would you like to import? No thanks. If you ever want to review these horror messages, and you can do so in the help. Menu to access help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game. Simply press escape to access main menu. Congratulations! You started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee, but don't worry. Many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright guys, I'm Sudo Gerudo and I'm here for a new Let's Play of Game Development Simulator. It's ga Game Development Tycoon. It's a game development simulator. Uh, that is indeed the genre of the game. And um, basically, it's a game in which uh, it's a game where we create games. If you're not familiar with the title, Game Development Simulator. But so yeah, I am Naburu, and I'm sitting on my on my really old computer in like a really worn out garage with a what looks to be. A, uh, that car from the from Back to the Future. So I'm going to, since I've already played this game before, it gave us the option as to whether to turn the tutorial on or off. But I turn it on just so that you can you guys can understand what's going on. So before the development, you, you can can before the development can begin, you get you have to de divide decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game is going to use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, so game one. Um, I'm going to pick a topic first. Okay, and I have cyberpunk, airplane, sci-fi, and fantasy. So the, the 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 latter two are probably the most used ones, like the really popular. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something like uh, sci-fi, sci-fi, uh, and then probably sci-fi simulation strategy action. I'm going for action here. Okay, platform uh, PC. Sci-fi action on the PC. Uh, oh, damn it, stupid mouse. Uh, God damn it. Okay, game. Uh, what should we call this? We should call this. Um. Actually, that was it. Was one of the it was one of the topics off the. Uh, it was one of the selectable topics. Cyberpunk. So there we go. Next, uh, I'm gonna use is it text-based or 2D graphics? I've got seventy thousand dollars, so I could go for this, but that's going to cost fifteen thousand dollars. And there's rent, or no, it's monthly costs, so that's eight thousand. 
Uh, I could do this, I want to do this, and I will do this. Okay, development runs through three stages. At the beginning of, the, of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the point you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read, if you want to read a brief description on of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay. Um. Uh. In sci-fi actions, I feel like engine should go up and gameplay and. Stories and quests aren't really something you focus on in an action game, so I'm going to put this down. Um, okay. There we go. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you will see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will always also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you've gained experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Oh damn it, she's scratching her hair. Every time she scratches her hair, time is wasted and like you gotta make... Like, this is over here onto your right... In top right corner, you find... Uh, the year, month, and weeks that have gone by since you've actually started the game. Um, and the weeks um, go by really fast. Like, it's around, in real life, it's probably like 5 seconds or 10, uh, probably 7 to 10 seconds is one week. So, when she, start cra when she starts scratching her head for 10 seconds, she's essentially scratching her hair for a week. Which is, it's so, uh, okay, for sci-fi action, this is development stage 2. Uh, you get dialogue, level design, and artificial intelligence. They're all level 1 because I haven't leveled up squat. So, dialogue should probably go down. I don't know, maybe dialogue should go up a bit. And then level design is like here, and then artificial, artificial intelligence is like there. Okay. So, after all that being done, we got, oh, okay, we got seven bug points, which should be, okay, well now we got, she's finding more bugs than anything else. She has less design points in technology and less technology than bugs but she has more research than bugs and in the future I'll tell you what research does but not now. During development you also select additional features for your game. Right now you can only pick basic sounds but your option will increase quickly. Selecting additional features make makes the game generally better but also increases its cost. You'll also see the graphic type you selected when you, def when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid game. Okay, so wall design. Uh, I don't know about that, but I'll put sound. I'll put. I, I know graphics should be up. Uh, I forgot about. I forgot sound. Should sound be up, or I feel like it should be like here, and then wall design should be like down here, and then sound probably like. Just, uh, probably right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, listen to Buru, we gotta get rid of those bugs, seriously, like, we don't, we don't want none of them, we don't want none of them, okay, we, it is now in, it is now complete, uh, press the finish button to publish a game, but only do that once you fix all your bugs, releasing your games without fixing bugs seems to fairly affect you, okay, okay, Get rid of the bugs. Get to, and also while you get rid of the bugs, you can also increase some design, technology, and even research. So that costs more money. Okay. Hopefully that's all the bugs gone. While developing your game, now the development of your game is now finished. It took us four months and two weeks and one year. Or oh, year one. We're at year one, four months and. Two weeks. So it took us four months and two weeks to do. While developing your game is uh, de while developing your you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will present a summary of the experience game. All right. Here we have like the design um, points and the technology points. Um, then every time you finish a game, you get experience and you get uh, bonus experience if you like let's say picked a new topic and then had a new combo and then had great management skills and had great combos and whatnot so yeah uh, we didn't actually level up anything because that's like the start of the game but well uh, over time we will end up um, uh, leveling up and that just gains us more research thanks to research 
And now what I do? Okay, the first review is okay. So basically, there are these companies. Oh shit! Sci-fi action is a great company. Thank you very much, but oh shit! Okay, give us some. Uh, could have been better. No, it couldn't have. Fuck you, game hero. It shows potential. I got six point five. No, I got six. After publishing your game, uh, 6.25. After publishing your game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into the what works and what doesn't work while developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright. Generate game report. 6.25, the cost is 39k. So that's like, we started off with 70k, that's over half our budget. Okay, average fan, average review score is 6.25, okay, let's just, let's just get it out there. Gerudo Thieves, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Cyberpunk. The game received favorable reviews, which is such a good start, the, uh, the Gerudo Thieves are sure to gain fans quickly. Oh, this better do me, this better do it for me, okay. 2,781 units in the first week of the market. We made it on the charts at number 38. Woo! Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can you can see how well you do it. your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top top right of the screen. Yay! The Cyberpunk was so successful that we have we now have 16 fans. Oh, go crazy! Um. So yeah, I figured that that did that's a total. I guess it did well. The uh, um, post-release analysis, uh, level design seems to be quite important for this type of- Oh my god, level design is quite important! I thought it was stupid. Uh, I thought we didn't need it. Okay, a sci-fi action, level design, good. Okay. General reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Okay, and I feel like not reading all that. And, oh, that, in that increase, I think that was the highest out of- Oh, no, the- First one is probably the highest, but it looks like it was increasing after the third week, uh, after the second week. So yeah, Cyberpunk has achieved a, a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of the Gerudo Thieves. The thing you gotta know about this game is that there are many random variables that actually affect your sales. It's not just how good the game is. It's like um, there have been games that have been made um, in this game. Um, it, wow, that's such an inception, but there have been games that have been made in this game that'll be like 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 and then they receive they're received pretty poorly. Okay, so this is research and that's what this is, this is where you use up all your research points. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to, to be able to create your game engine. This will greatly improve your games. To develop games with different topic and genre combination for a slight reason. Okay, the generation. General, new topic or custom game engine. We only have 23 research points, so we can only do new topic. And we can get either school, werewolf, rhythm, or prison. And I'm really going for probably a prison game? Probably, no, a school game. Werewolf, uh, so rhythm? I, I don't think, because PC is like the only thing I, I really want to use. Uh, these on, so I I probably want to do something like school. I'll do school. Okay, start research. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, look, 95.1k. 90, That's a 25.1k advantage. Uh, profit. I think. Well, let's just look at game history. It's still selling. Uh, income profit is a 51.2. Oh, yeah, because we... That's the cost, but from the initial, from when we started off, it's... Uh, it's 22.2k now. So yeah, it's still selling actually. How long does it sell for? Uh, don't scratch your head, Naburo. Damn it. Uh, okay, it's now off the market. It's sold 13,191 13, units, generating 92,374 in sales, which is pretty good. The research suggests that the, the Galvador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in this season. Consumers prefer the low price Greater availability, greater availability in the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Now, the thing you gotta know about this is that there are some, um, actually all the consoles are actually a reference to um, real life consoles, except they 
change the name up a bit and sometimes the design is a, a, a little bit altered altered but it's 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 generally it's it's pretty it's such a clear um, reference so this is obviously the Commodore 64 which is back in the day like in the 80s experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers um I don't think it will uh, there are actually a lot of references in the game to other things like if you look at the uh, I'll just click here to pause the game if you look here um, at the wall right next to the cracked right next to the cracked wall you see um, uh, like a board of some sort and it looks like there looks like a game of pong is on and uh, as I initially initially pointed out the DeLorean is what's under the cover which is a reference to back to the future and uh, what else what other reference can you find here I don't think there's a lot of other references that you can find in this place but um, yeah okay I'll develop a new game and I'll pick topic I'll do school this time yeah probably school and then I'll do a school strategy uh, school simulation is better uh, PC I know a lot of school simulation PC games pretty much all of them are really anime based so uh, actually consider they're anime based let's do this S no wait school days yeah the game reference something I reference something 2D graphics v1 10k text based or 2D graphics uh, I sort of want to do text based uh, now it's 2D graphics I'm actually starting to think I should have done text based okay uh, school simulation should the engine be high uh, I feel like the engine should be high uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just put that there I'll do something like this engine is high Actually, I'll put engine half. Uh, I'll put it here, okay, and then I'll put the gameplay like equal to it, and I'll put the stories and quests like somewhere here, and then that'll be all G real G. So school days, is school simulation, which engine and gameplay are focused more, and the stories and quests are not really. Okay, dialogue I think is high. Um, uh, level design is sort of not really, and then artificial intelligence is sort of. Eh. Like you just sort of made a weird orgasm sound. <sighs> okay, so design and technology is uh, obviously design is like kicking technology's ass right now. Oh, not really anymore because you just got two more technology points that puts it one below design. There are two bugs, um, but we'll get rid of them. World design should world design be somewhat high? I don't think so. Graphic. Uh, I don't think graphic is very important. I think sound is somewhat important. I think wall design is like really important, I think. I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go for that. Okay. Uh, Nuvento is planning to launch its very own home game console. Nuvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. What sort of... What are we referencing? I don't know. It's... Like some of these, like this, this game is like just really inventive with names. It sort of creates their own names. Like I wonder what Nintendo is actually meaning. And Dinky Kong? What the hell is Dinky King? Oh, Dinky King, Dinky Kong. Okay, I just sort of spoiled the joke. But anyway, yeah, that's obviously referencing Nintendo and Donkey Kong respectively. So many industries experts doubt that the home gaming console will take up, but we're eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. I like how these industry experts are like saying the opposite of what will actually happen because I know that the Commodore 64 is gonna like, fuck over. And stop doing this, goddammit! She scratches her hair for like one week. That's a quarter of a month. A quarter of a month is how much, how long she scratches her hair. All right, I'm just gonna fix up everything. All right, there's no bugs. Hopefully, okay. I'm gonna go. Experience gain, we level up, we leveled up, we got a new record for everything. We got a new topic, new combo, but we didn't level up in any of the uh, subcategories like engine, gameplay, stories, quest, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphics, and Naburu herself is still at level 1. So we'll release the game. Uh, we're at 29 research points and we can actually generate the game report. Uh, it costs us 47k and it first reviews came in. Oh dear god, this is horrible. 
it gives us a four, and then says school simulation is a great combination. Four, not bad, not good. Five, have seen better. Hurry up and just get this over and done with. Waste of. Oh my god. This is horrible. We obviously did something. We did something really horribly. Invento has confirmed release a uh, recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES. Tests early next year. The console features cartridge-based games that are uniquely designed to controller. Hmm. Tests. What? What does that mean? Okay. Mm, give us something. Uh, we got negative four fans because it was such a horrible game. Uh, school and the simulation is a great combination. The level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform genre match simulation PC is great. Okay, we got negative two fans. Ugh. We're sc we screwed this up so much. Oh god. Okay, we'll just we'll make another game. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm crying. That's a loss, I think. Is that a loss? It's not. Wait. What's, what was? What do we begin with? Okay, that's actually a profit of 879. Ex oh wow. Uh, the average is four, so it failed. School days failed. Um, uh, it's not off the market. It generated 48. Okay, we'll develop a new game. I should got to research. I should probably research new topic. Vocabulary. Rhythm? Prison? Werewolf? No. I'll just, uh... Nah. I'll just develop a new game. Okay, pick topic. I'll do fa fantasy fantasy one this time. I'll do a fantasy RPG. And then I'll do a PC. Should I have done it? I don't know. Are PCs good? Oh, PCs are good for simulation. So, should I do like a... Cyber airplane. I don't know. Airplane simulation game. How about that? Uh, PC. It's not gonna catch on well with the fans, but it should give us a good uh, rating. So that will generate fans, and that should um, get more games being sold next time. All right. So let's do this. Airplane, airplane, airplane simulation. 2019. Yeah, 13. Okay, next. Uh, 2D graphics V1 10K. Okay, let's do this. Airplane simulation 2013. Airplane simulation. I know the engine. I know that the engine and the gameplay should be up. And then, like, stories and quests should be, like, down here. Let me just do this. Can I do this? No, I can't. I'll just do that. Next. No, wait. You know what? Screw it. Okay, design and technology. This is focusing a lot more on technology than it is on design. But, okay, um, and we now have 41 research points, so that's all good. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the game development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you've turned this option off in the setting. It ranges to plus 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 to minus minus and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. Um, so if it's plus plus plus, that means really good. If it's uh, minus minus, and it's really bad for this type of genre top, uh, type of combination. And then it's question mark if it, it it gives you a question mark if it's if it doesn't uh, if it not if it's not sure if it holds true to that particular genre or topic. Okay, so die. Okay, so we know level design is sort of like somewhere here. Artificial intelligence is there, and then dialogue is down there. Actually, I just put this up. Uh, I should put this a little bit down here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So why is the design getting a lot? It shouldn't, technically speaking. Okay, world design is not really something I'm focusing on. Is it? I don't know. Um. Okay. We'll just put graphics up there. We'll put the sound somewhere here, and we'll just put world design. I feel like world design isn't something that we should focus on. Okay, so tests is by Invento has been released, and we got two bugs. Uh, we got 13 design, 12 technology is something that's not. I'm not really expecting that. I want a technology to be what was the most out of it. Uh, let's see if she can put anything else into technology. Ah, oh, she found one bug. That's good. 
Um. Okay. Okay, we we got a new record for technology. Okay, engine gameplay we leveled up. Uh, we are on level two now, and everything else we're we're actually pretty close on artificial intelligence. We're rather close on level design, somewhat close on graphics, and pretty close on sound and overall. So, uh, dialogue and story quests have some quite a bit left, but we'll get there at some point. That's 8k. Jesus, we're losing money fast. Okay, give us the money. Give us the money. Yes, that's right. Eight. Eight. Out of I saw that ten. I saw that ten. More, please. Yes, you will. Give us a ten. Okay, give us a okay, fine. Eight. Give us a ten. Give us a... Fuck you. Oh, wait. Oh, yay. Yes. Okay. So, this is an 8.25, which is a good good score compared to the rest, and it's a good score overall. So, this is gain... Ten? No, fine. But, uh, we're definitely getting, um, some... Uh, we d we're definitely getting profit. Okay, so this is contract work. Hi there. I finished. I've just finished Airplane Simula Simulation 2013, and I love your work. I'm in the contracting contracting business, and we can use skills like yours. If you are ever short in cash, just let me know, and I'll see if I have some work for you, Jason. Okay, so contracts have now been unlocked, and contracts are basically stuff that you can do for other people uh, as a third party. So, and you just do work for them, and then they give you money, and it uh, it gives you. Um, it gives you um, some uh, research points, so it's a good way to get research points, especially in the later levels, uh, in the in the later uh, time when you can when you can actually employ other people to your company, you can dish out a lot of research points. It's really good to get research points. So, contracts required you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. And sometimes, and if you are uh, if you actually uh, do it before the time runs out, you they pay you, and if you don't then you have to pay them a deadline a uh, penalty for not uh, finishing within a deadline so yeah so it's good to start off with small ones uh, like five weeks 713 uh, pays 20 penalties five so this is pretty good you can see the contract here and the annoying thing is about this character about characters or uh, like the person you play as is sometimes you'll be like on a roll and you you'll be like dishing out technology and design points and then at some point they'll start to scratch their heads and when they scratch their heads it takes like a week for them to start scratching so that's like one week gone that'll be four weeks left to actually dish out design and technology points and now we finished that's 20k to our account successful we're at 190k 182 fans this is the second year sixth month and third week and like uh, the third quarter of the third week okay Jason here, I just got word from the client that the contract was completed ex successfully. Uh, excellent work, usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Alright, so every six months she has a new contract. We can develop a new game, we can generate game report. Okay, we'll generate game report, just give, get some research points. Uh, yeah, we can, we can afford to spend some 8k on time, so yeah. But this is not how I, wanna, how I want you to spend it, damn it, Noguru. Okay, we got the following. Aeroplane, aeroplane and simulations, great combination, and didn't seem to be quite important for this type of game. Okay, we got 59 research points, and we can actually start our custom game engine. But I sort of don't want to because we, I really don't have anything else to put. Uh, so, uh, um, do, 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 okay, research, cut new topic. Werewolf or prison? I'll just do prison actually. Okay. Okay, so off the market and it generated 184,000 in sales, which is pretty good. So now I have two, 200, 203.1k and 203 fans. Okay, okay, I, I see how it is. We have successfully researched a new topic, prison. Now let's develop a new game. And we'll, we'll, um, uh, um, cyberpunk? I don't know what cyberpunk is actually. We'll do prison. Prison is a good simulation strategy. Simulation, prison, simulation. I'll do it. Prison action um, on the probably on the um, oh, this is difficult. Uh, what other options were there in the research? Okay, if we did new topic and we had business, werewolf vocabulary rhythm business. Um, I sort of cause considering I just got 8.25, I really don't want it to go down. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'm just gonna develop a new game, new topic, and apparently, um, it's not good to like do the same ones 
uh, twice, like really close to each other. So like previously we did uh, fantasy and then we did RPG, so it's not good to do another fantasy RPG. But they'll I think slide for like a fantasy action or fantasy adventure, so fantasy anything else. So we'll do a, I don't, I'll do a prison and then I'll do a, a prison simulation. We could do that. And then we could do, we could put it on the PC. Uh, but the, ooh, we could generate a lot of tests. Oh, uh, this is still 2D graphics. Uh, oh my god, I didn't name it. Oh god, it's just gonna be called Game 4. Okay, engine, gameplay, yeah. Uh, story, side quests, yeah. Just stay there. Oh dear god. Game 4. Uh, but if you think about it, let's say. We can just say there's a backstory behind the title, like game number four, as in game cell four, as in cell four, fourth cell in the prison. So yeah, I figured we could just go for that. Uh, the level design is quite important. Um, I'll put it down here, artificial intelligence, I'll put it up there. But I'll put level design, level design down a bit, like somewhere here, and I'll put dialogue up a bit, and then it will be okay. It will be all G real G. So we got three bucks, three designs, four technology, and an increasing amount of research, which is pretty good. Um, but we got more technology, and that is what I'm expecting because this is a simulation game and it has more technology than it does have design. So we'll put world design down, like somewhere down, like pretty, pretty down. Like, pretty down. Uh, wait, did it say at some point that world design is quite important? I forgot. Um, I get, I get a, a bit confused with level design and world design, so I'm gonna put world design up and graphics up and sound down. So we don't need basic sounds. Uh, I'll put basic sounds anyway. Uh, this is gonna cost us though. Okay, I'll put, I'll put a bit of sound on. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust my mic, that was it, okay. Uh, so the recently released tests, home console by an inventor has proven to be a massive success, sales number has exceeded expectations. One customer says, I love games that make me orgasm during the night. Okay, so technology is increasing very much so, higher than, oh, whoa, but there's a pretty close with design, so. But we've increased our research a lot, and we're now fixing out, ironing out those bugs, uh, getting more design and technology points. Uh, I'm just gonna wait here a bit, because I can afford to do that. See if there's anything else we can, you know, fix up in this game. If she can find maybe a bug or something like that. Uh, this is basically a risky game. You're basically, you're basically losing out 8k just to get some bugs, but these bugs are somewhat important to get rid of. Okay. New record for technology. Okay. Ooh, okay, we got level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphic sound, and Nabura herself leveled up. And when Nabura herself levels up, that means like she can do, um... Mm, what is it? If Nabura levels up, what, she, what can she do? I think her, her, her speed and like her technology and design speed and her... What? I don't know. Anyway. I'm seeing some good scores, I'm seeing bad scores at the same time. That shouldn't happen. Falls a bit short. Uh, uh, please give me something good. Uh, it works well, it's okay then. Uh, what was it? 5, 6, 7, 7. So that's a 6.5 average. We can generate a game report. No, 6.25, sorry. Uh, let's do this then. A recent the increasing variety of gaming devices are created a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become younger, pop, more popular with younger, and as more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. I'm just adjusting my mic and all G real G. Okay. Finally, target audience. This is what I was waiting for. Target audience can actually. Um, Affect the sales that you get, you know, and um, don't forget creating custom custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create custom game engines through the action menu once you have researched a custom engine. Okay, 
Uh, post analysis of the game for its complete research. Uh, Sorry, it seems to be not very important for this type of game. Prison simulation is a great combination. Okay, great. So we can. We, I'm gonna research. I'm gonna do target audience first, and that should get me down to 56, which still gives me some uh, research points to play around with for a new game engine. So target audience, let's do this. Uh, don't scratch your head in between. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Don't scratch your hair. Don't scratch your hair. Good. Okay, target audience is done. That gives us 56 research custom game engines. Start research. Let's do this. And it, it actually takes a bit of time to like research custom game engines. And if you look at like the um, the graph that shows uh, the sales, it, it it declined so much after the first week. Like. From first week, it was like all the way up there, like it was the Burj Temple, the Burj Tower from Dubai, and then after that, it was just your regular townhouse. I don't know. So you've successfully researched game engines. Now you can create your own game engines. You can start as close. You can close the mission and click anywhere. Game tutorials, mono sound. New research available. Game tutorials, mono sound. We can actually research that now. Actually, we can create custom engine. Okay, so we have linear story and save game. We can add all these into our uh, game engine, but we can actually um, we can actually afford to uh, wait a bit before we create our custom engine, like just get new stuff, like put new stuff onto it or whatnot. So I'm actually going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Sudo Gerudo, and if you like this, please click like. If you really like it, oh, looks like the Vina has been confirmed recently. It's confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced that Master V. The company claims that Master V's technology is superior to, be, to the massively successful test by an Invento and plans to release it in the coming months. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like, please click the like button. If you really like it, please consider subscribing. I'm Sudo Gerudo, and I'm out.